Part 2. Azure Moon. Lone Moon. The Rose-Colored River. The Kingdom Army meets with Rodrigue in Elel, the Valley of Tormek. With the strength of House Fraldarius on their side, the time to invade the Empire is finally at hand. Even though it's in ruins, in some strange way, this monastery never truly changes, does it? I studied at the Officer's Academy when I was young. Those memories come rushing back whenever I return. What are you doing here at this hour anyway? <laughs> it's the same for me. Perhaps you'll allow me to join you. Much appreciated. <sighs> I keep recalling my eldest son. He was quite gifted. In fact, he was appointed a knight at the age of 15. I still vividly remember the day he was granted a sword from his majesty. Dead. He was killed nine years ago in Dusker. All that returned of him that day were his sword and his armor. After it happened, I said something horrible to Felix. He's hated me ever since, and I don't blame him. No matter how much you grieve, the dead will never return. No magic in the world can bring them back. That's why their memory clings to the living like a curse. The more they were loved, the tighter their hold the more suffering they cause. I fear I am not a strong enough man to scold His Highness for his foolishness. Since this war began, we've seen countless generals, soldiers, and citizens die. It never gets easier. <sighs> Professor, I entrust the young prince and the future of Fargus to you. <laughs> you are a brave one, aren't you? One worthy of leading the Church of Seros, I dare say. You should know that I have no intention of insisting that you take back Ferdiat. All I ask is that you continue to rein in Dimitri's manic desire for revenge. Now then, we have received House Regan's consent. All that's left is for us to depart. If we make it through Gloucester territory and across the Great Bridge of Murden, we'll be in Empire territory. You are not afraid, are you? Yes, such is war. I'm glad you were the one to lead the Blue Lion House, Professor. I mean that. Singing's okay, but... I should really have a cute dance to go along with it. Ah, it feels good to sing nice and loud. Fill my chest up with sound.
This will do. about but he's actually smart and although Claude isn't honest about some things you can trust him when it counts yeah he'll do us proud that's just my gut feeling but still to feed now so we'll still need to ration but I think we have enough extra to make some tasty treats I'll go scout the pantry we can enjoy it together over some tea I'm sure you know this already but house Ordelia is aligned with the Empire they face the Empire from across a river similar to the Gloucesters even so I refuse to yield to the Empire a second time. The Empire did unthinkable things to my family and to me. The only option here is winning. Professor, you must promise we will overcome the Empire. Anyway, the area around Castle Gaspar, where I was living, is under the control of House Roe. Who have submitted to the Empire. If I hadn't come to Garrick Mach, I might have ended up as your enemy at ALL. That thought makes me really happy to be here now. I don't think I would have been able to handle facing all of you in battle. Oh. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Lord Rodrigue is revered by all as the Shield of Fargus. I was imagining a more stern-faced fellow, but he's actually quite friendly. Shocking. I heard that he recently spent the night drinking in the dining hall with soldiers from the church. I need your help. these days. All of my fellow merchants seem to be endangered. I hope things go back to normal soon. People need more to smile about, aside from my great deals. Hey, how about a favor? Oh. What? Leaving the house in my uncle's hands? What is the old man thinking? I always knew my father was mad, but this time he's gone too far. Easy for you to say. You hardly know the man. Only a fool would abandon his own territory. <clears throat> hmm. From the outset, House Regan and House Gloucester have been fighting over leadership of the Alliance. Then this war comes along and their opinions are split about whether to ally with the Empire or not. 
their existing enmity only worsened, leading them to full-on conflict with one another. However, the leader of the Alliance is a very shrewd man. It's difficult to predict what he'll do at this point. So, how's Regan accepted? I knew the leader of the Alliance wouldn't refuse. Still, we can't let our guard down. There's no telling when he'll turn on us. If we advance through the Alliance into the Empire, our chances for reconnaissance will be limited. I just hope it goes according to plan. Right, right. Do you really think it's a good idea to trust Claude? If you let yourself get taken in by his silver tongue, you might wind up regretting it. The thing is, uh, five years ago, I was taken in by his tricks myself. I was given a long and grueling lecture by my unit leader that day. Ugh, the memory of it is still too painful. <laughs> I thought House Fraldarius had an invasion of their own to worry about. I'm impressed Lord Rodrigue was willing to provide us all these reinforcements and supplies. The Knight's morale is really boosted, seeing as they have had their first good meal in a while. Let's hope we can keep this up and take down the Great Bridge of Murden. Even after all these decades, the Academy hasn't changed a bit. I remember it well, even now. I used to sneak out of lectures with Lambert almost every day. I suppose this is not the time for an old man's nostalgia. We have received approval from House Regan. We should set out as soon as you're ready. Being here brings back all manner of memories. The days I spent studying here with you and everyone else. Those days were so special to me. They were truly some of the warmest days of my life. I hold them dear in my heart. And now, to be forced to fight with those I was once so close to, my friends, it is most saddening. I had an encounter with Lord Gwendal. How many years ago was it? Back before the Academy, I met this girl who I fell madly in love with. And her dad tried to kill me. I suppose he just tried to scare me, but I was sure I was gonna die. Oh yeah, her dad? Lord Gwendal. Crazy, right? I never thought I'd seriously be trying to kill the guy in battle. I kind of don't know how to make sense of it. Like House Fraldarius, House Galatea is currently being invaded by the dukedom. My family is not as wealthy as most others, so we are incapable of sparing resources or reinforcements. I'm sorry. It's just so frustrating not being able to do anything to help. Um, my adoptive father is planning on supporting the Regan family in the upcoming operation. He says it's the perfect opportunity to get both the Alliance and the Kingdom on his side. He even insisted that I promote the good name of House Edmund to the people of the Kingdom. No, I'm not very good at this sort of thing. But I suppose I did just tell you, so that must count for something. We were raised by Lord Rodrigue himself to be the elite of the elite. Even if our enemy is the Empire's vast army, we can overcome the difference in numbers. The one thing that could prove to be a problem is if our food and supplies don't hold up. 
If we attack the Imperial capital before the Kingdom capital, we'll have to be swift if we want to prevail. Professor? Hello. Come to think of it. Grendel made the ultimate sacrifice in service of House Roe. I understand that feeling. I'd do anything for Lady Rhea. I'm surprised. I didn't peg you as the kind of person to say that sort of thing. At any rate, it's up to the individual how to demonstrate loyalty. The Aramid River separates the Empire and Alliance. It's the largest river in Fodlan. Sometimes it'll flood when there's lots of rain, but... At least the land gets some extra water. Here's an idea. On the north side of the Great Bridge of Murden lies the territory of Acheron of the Alliance, and to the south, the Empire's Burglies territory. Count Burglies has held the position of Minister of Military Affairs for the Empire ever since the days of Emperor Ionius. The current Emperor seems to have brought the corrupt nobility to heal, but Count Burglies looks to be an exception. from Garrick Mach for a while, but I came back when I heard the rumors of what you were doing. The scars of five years ago may still be raw, but it's nice to be back. Anyway, I'm going to start up business here again, so I look forward to your patronage. House Fraldarius is a military house. They swore fealty to the royal family at the kingdom's founding. The current family head, Lord Rodrigue, was raised like a brother to the former king. He harbors a loyalty that goes beyond mere duty. Perhaps this is why he was willing to lend us his aid. House the current he harbors. I have a request. I have a request. I have a request. Thank you very much. Professor! If you stand in my way, I will strike you down!
So? Lady Rhea must be so scared. We gotta find her quick as we can. We got reinforcements from the Kingdom people now, right? Then we ought to be able to go save her. to invade the Empire, which means we'll be fighting people we know, won't we? If we're attacked by someone we know or used to think of as a friend, is it permitted to run away? Really? If something happens, will you keep me safe? Yes. Next, we face the Great Bridge of Murden. We actually crossed it a long time ago. Do you remember? It was five whole years ago. It seems like so long ago, doesn't it? It's odd how fast time flies. Everyone was still friends then. After the fighting, we all ate together without splitting into our separate houses. I often wish we could go back to those peaceful days. So, the renowned Shield of Fargus is now on our side. That is quite reassuring. Not only will he provide valuable support in battle, but he has also brought us much-needed supplies. He cannot grow complacent, however. We must take the Imperial capital as soon as possible. Hey! Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. Some kingdom noble called Rodrigue has been footing the bill to feed the people of Garrig Mach, feeding the hungry with his own gold. Just wow! Even the folks down here have been getting a share of the provisions. Needless to say, this Rodrigue guy is popular these days. We're all very grateful. I hurt my leg in the last battle. Had to take shelter down here. Nowhere else to go. Be careful up there. All sides are bringing their strongest people to this fight. Not sure what brought people back up above, but I'm glad for it. The dining hall, the greenhouse, they're all ripe for the picking again. Uh, I mean, for them. Good for them. Invading the Empire at last, are we? I cannot still the wild palpitations in my chest. I have made myself ready to the extent that I could, but now that the day draws near, I fear that to proceed will be to abandon all hope of restoring the Imperial House of Nouvelle. However, if we succeed in defeating the Empire and rebuilding the Kingdom, I may yet achieve my dream. I hear Claude's gonna fight the good fight with us. <laughs> Not a bad ally to have, that one. Something about him is untrustworthy, but from what I hear, he's a man who keeps his promises. Yeah, sort of. We're both alliance nobility, and we've crossed paths a handful of times these past five years. I honestly have no clue what will happen after we cross the bridge. Fell. If that's true, why are there Kingdom soldiers right above us? Do you know what's going on? That's so. Sounds like a good business opportunity. Thanks for the tip. Time to 
to rake in some gold. That sorcerer who runs the kingdom capital. Cornelia's her name, yeah? The woman who kidnapped me was called that too. But it's probably just a coincidence. Super common name. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting a Cornelia, right? Who thought that House Row would show up? They must have been sweating blood to get to Ayla from way out there. Guess it's been a while since I left House Row, so it doesn't bother me much to have to fight them. Kinda always knew I'd be the one to take that stubborn old donkey out. I've been ready for this. However, you have my gratitude. I am sorry you could find no one but me to share your tea with. I shall endeavor to hold up my end of the conversation nonetheless. Allow me to express my deepest thanks. This is exquisite. Yes. 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 Oh. Yes. I doubt you'll want my opinion. My mistake. I shall take my leave now. I hope that I have not wasted too much of your time. I have gratitude. Thanks so much! I thank you. Lord Gwendal was pretty tough. If only he'd been on our side, he would have been a great ally. But it was Lord Gwendal himself who made the decision to throw his lot in with the Empire alongside his liege. I will neither pity him nor mourn for him. It would be an insult to his honor to follow the path of justice as long as life endures. That is the duty of a Knight of Farkas. It's 
That's my duty. It's my duty. I must steal myself. Fought well. You fought well. All right, next. I appreciate any good- I'm happy to eat alone, but alright. is nice, but I, I don't like being hit on. I've eaten many meals in my time, but this is divine. I realized it after I got to the monastery. Nobody in Fargus knows how to cook. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? 
Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. The Emp the only I wish we could... 